Hello, and welcome back to Technic. So, um, I decided to do this up here. If you remember, I've put um, a solar panel and an MFE up there to collect my power. And as my power needs grow, I will expand the uh, solar array so there's more than one solar panel up there. And there's a glass fiber power cable running down through the center of the building now. So, I decided to put the tree here to make up for the fact that, that there was one on the roof that I had to remove. And here I've used um, wooden panels. Um, in case you don't know, you can use... Um, open. You can use a, a, a handsaw to cut blocks into smaller bits. So that uh, gives me wooden slabs, and basically you can keep cutting them down and down and down, and they get smaller and smaller. And that's how you can get like little posts and stuff like that. So now um, I've also put all the bat boxes down. So they're all there, and they're all powered. So now I can start doing other stuff. Um, like, for instance, here... There you go. We've got a generator that was what was currently powering the extractor. Um, I can get rid of the generator. Sorry, I'm trying to I'm trying to get to that badge. Uh, badge? Bag! I'm trying to get to that bag. Alright, so I can pick the generator up. And then I can... Ah. Uh, check down here and see what's needed to get power to this thing. I just need a piece of rubber. It's not going to let me, is it? So, rubber... copper cable. Copper cable. Uh, that's of course assuming that it's going to stay in that exact position. Um, I'm, I may as well leave it there for now. So there straight away this thing is working. Um, I've got an alloy furnace here. Now this one is actually designed for burning stuff. Um, I made that when I thought I needed it to make the um, bronze or something. So now I've got my power distribution grid down. I want to get my compressor up and running. Because that was the reason I did this. So I'm trying to work out the best place for the compressor. Hmm. I think on top of this bat box here. No? Ah, I'm overthinking this. I should just put the compressor down somewhere and then just see what happens. So, I will do that. I can always move it later once I learn more about it. So, bit of rubber. That's the generator, that's the compressor. And it's powered. Okay. Now, I remember that I wanted it because I was going to make reinforced stuff out of it, so uh, um, I needed an advanced alloy. So that's a mixed metal ingot in a compressor. And you make a mixed metal ingot with shaped crafting. Uh, refined iron, bronze, and tin. Find iron. Tin. And how do you make bronze? Bronze. Hmm. 
make it out of bronze dust, which is tin and copper dust. Hmm. So I can turn these back into dust by running them through the ma uh, through, uh, through the macerator, but then I need to make sure that they don't get smelted. In fact, it's possible I'm going to end up with some copper up there anyway. So let's feed the tin through the system. through as well. <clears throat> right, so while that's working, um, I want to take a closer look at where I'm going to build my fuel refinery. So I just wanted lots of marble so I could start putting down floors. That's lots of marble. <laughs> um, let's just grab more than enough and switch back to making diamonds. Right, so it's going to be in here um, with reinforced walls and I think I want to make sure that I've got room both above and below for the running of pipes. So, how far beneath the ground is this? I think I need to check this from upstairs. Hello, bunny. Okay, that's a gap of two. So... That's the gap I want for the ceiling. So the actual ceiling is going to start there. Then I think I want a gap of, what, at least six? So that's... Dig this out a bit. That's one, two, three, four, five, and six, so that's where my floor is going to be. And then I want a gap again of one, two. And so that's where a lower floor is going to be. So it's going to be a very large chamber, but that's what I want. I want plenty of room for uh, for, for my fuel refinery. So how has my uh, macerating been going? I might need to make a um, rotary macerator because this thing's not really fast enough. <laughs> not when I put an additional demand on the system like like this. Let's check on the rot on rotary macerator, shall we? Sorry. All right, rotary rotary macerators. Um, it uses a macerator, some refined iron, and an advanced machine block, ah, which needs advanced alloy and carbon plate. Carbon plate, I need raw carbon mesh in the compressor. And for that, I need raw carbon fiber in the compressor. Coal dust. Which comes from hydrated... No, coal dust is simply macerating 
some coal dust. Okay. Well, macerating coal. So do I have any coal? Or have I been... Ooh, some stuff in, uh, stuff in here, which is unexpected. The stuff's supposed to end up over here. I wonder if this is stuff I accidentally put in there, because this is definitely stuff I'm sorting. I've been doing some random uh, mistcraft age making just to try and learn some new symbols and I'm getting there. You know, I've got quite a few symbols now but still a lot more to learn about that. Um, oh yes, um, I realized that for some of the uh, Thaumcraft stuff I needed a normal enchanting table so I decided to just put it above above my um, Kizatum. Just, you know, as an efficient way of of doing it. So, I need coal. <clears throat> and I'm going to run this stuff into the macerating circuit as well. On the basis that I'm going to need all that coal dust in order to make the carbon fibre stuff. How are we doing? We've got some tin and copper dust coming. So I'm going to dig out down here a bit. Around where I want this thing to be. And I'll see you when I'm done. Actually, this is going to be an awful lot of digging, so maybe there's a better, smarter, more efficient way of doing this. There's something called a destruction catalyst that I believe I can use for digging. Um, I just need to make it. So that's a flint and steel, four Mobius fuels, and a Nova Catalyst. A Nova Catalyst is a Mobius Fuel and TNT. Okay. <clears throat> well, let's start to see whether or not we've got any Mobius Fuel. I don't have any in my examples chest. Now, I believe these things can make Mobius Fuel. So if I supply it with some Glowstone... Okay, that's gone to alchemical coal, which was part of what was needed for the Mobius fuel. So I'm going to get three of these working on upgrading that stuff. Yes, so that's made the alchemical coal I need. So four of those and my Philosopher's Stone. Okay, four of them and the Philosopher's Stone is Eternalist fuel but also four of them and a Philosopher's Stone is Mobius Fuel. Oh, okay. One, one Eternalist makes four Mobius. Okay, I think I get it. <laughs> so let me grab this stuff. And make certain I've taught it to this. And stick one here, so I don't have to go through that again. Right, so now I want to make Mobius Fuel. So that's four of them and my Philosopher's Stone. So that's 17 Mobius Fuel. Alright and teach it and store it 
Now, four of them will make me this thing called a um, Eternalist Fuel. So let's... I don't think I need that for what I'm doing at the moment, but let's make one anyway. Eternalist. So the other thing I need is Nova Catalyst, which is TNT and Mobius fuel. Um, I don't think I've got any TNT. I've not had reason to make it yet. So I just need sand and gunpowder. Let's empty this out a bit. Cobblestone. Gravel. some of the marble. <clears throat> there we go. Right. And then I wanted sand. Make sure I take away the diamonds. Because it's going to be a lot of sand. Whoa, that filled up quick. <laughs> Oops. Ah, okay. Okay, problem. I've jammed the system with sand. <laughs> I need to make sure that there's a couple of holes free before... <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Something just died in my mob trap. <laughs> Alright. I don't think I needed this much sand. Alright, so let's go for the gunpowder. Right, I only need four, four TNTs, so I actually only need 20 gunpowder, so that should be enough. Okay, that's four gunpowder. Actually, I should make five, shouldn't I? Because I want to put, put one away safe. Right. Oh, I get two from each of that, so that's good. So that... And two of them. That gets me two Nova Catalysts. And then I put it with four Mobius fuels and a flint and steel in the middle, and that's my destruction catalyst. Flint and steel. Right, we'll replicate one here. 260. Uh, spare gunpowder. Oh, of course, gunpowder is, um... I need something physical. Okay, so I can finally make my destruction catalyst. No! Oh, okay. <laughs> Another one of those. Um, of course, I don't have to go through the rigmarole anymore, do I? I can just do that, and we should get one. So, a one destruction catalyst. Now, this looks like it's something that I can't teach to things. Nope. So, um... I've got a, I've got to experiment and find out how this thing works. Right, let's head on outside to a bit of waste ground so I can practice with this thing. So if I left click, nothing happens. If I right click, that happens. It digs out stuff and and then it spits out a little black ball, which if I pick up. The little black ball turns into all the stuff I just digged. So that turned into five dirt. Um, I think I can do it straight down. And it does a three by three. Or if I do it forwards, it also does a three by three. And each time I can actually pick up the stuff. Um, now I believe there's a way to charge it, at which point it does more. Now if I um, right-hand click, there you go. 
Um, but doing that has used something up. Has it used up fuel? I don't know. But that's how I'm going to dig out around down there. It's going to be a lot quicker. Oh, I better be careful. <laughs> right hand click on the wrong things and you do destroy everything. So, I'm actually going to Oops. Dump stuff for the moment. We'll put stuff in here for safekeeping. Because what was a laborious digging task has now just become um, this. <laughs> and I don't even lose the resources. That's what's amazing about um, about this. <laughs> That's maximum. How do I uncharge? Oh, that activated. Okay, I need to work out how to turn this thing down. Because the key that turns it up isn't turning it down. I've got to check on this. Okay. <clears throat> ah! Being poisoned by jellyfish. Go away, jellyfish. Alright, I've worked it out. Uh, so it, it's V to charge the thing. <laughs> And it's sneak V, or shift V, to uncharge it. Um, as you can see, um, I was having quite a few accidents while I was trying to get that working. But now it is. <laughs> so I should be able to quite easily... Oops. Ah, see, it consumes uh, glowstone, I think. Oh, well, this gives me a way up. Seeing as I accidentally destroyed my other route. Okay, so this thing is building up the copper dust. Uh, where's the tin? Come on, give me the tin. Just squirreling away some of this blaze powder because... I don't. I never actually had any before, but it seems these things have made it from the alchemical coal. I wonder whether you can use alchemical coal to power a destruction catalyst. Yes, it seems it seems you can. Thirty-eight. Still thirty-eight. Hmm. Does it have to be on my person, or can it be in my alchemical bag? That's good. So I can just have that in my in my alchemical bag, and I can quickly dig my way round. So I will keep doing that while we're waiting for everything to macerate. 